Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A mailbox rule simply states that when items arrive to the mailbox that meet a specified criteria, they will then be processed by whatever the rule dictates should happen when an item of that type is received. You can have multiple rules applied to a single mailbox. The rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules created for that mailbox. They can also be modified at a later date or deleted entirely if they no longer apply and you can also turn them on and off without having to delete and recreate them. To create a mailbox rule, you first select the mailbox folder for which you want to create a rule. You can then start the rules wizard which helps you fill in the necessary rule criteria and actions that you want the rule to take when something is received by the mailbox that matches the criteria you set. To start the rules wizard, select tools, and rules wizard. To create a new rule in the rules wizard dialog box that appears, click the new button to the right of the dialog box. In the rules wizard, you can either select one of the predefined rules that are available and then customize it as needed, or you can create a new rule from scratch. You start by selecting which option you'd like from the two option buttons at the top of the dialog box. If you select Start Creating a Rule from a Template, then you'll need to select one of the templates from the list below. The rule description then appears at the bottom of the dialog box with hyperlinks indicating places that you would need to click and fill in the blanks in the rule template. So here it says apply this rule after the message arrives with specific words in the subject or body. Well, click specific words. What words are we going to look for? About business, add that, meeting, meetings, and then click OK and then assign it to the category category. Well, click that, check business, click OK, and then you would click Next. Now, if you selected Start from a blank rule, you either choose Check the message when it arrives or Check it after sending, depending on if you're creating a message for, say, your sent items or your inbox, and then you would click Next. In the next screen, you have to decide what other conditions would you want for that particular rule. If you started from a template, some of them should already be checked for you, and you can add more criteria if necessary. So it could be sent only to you, or marked with a certain sensitivity, or flagged for a certain action. However, if you're creating a rule from scratch, you'll need to select which criteria to use from the checkboxes available. So after the message arrives, flagged for an action. What action? Well, click the action hyperlink. So if I'm told to read it, and it's marked with a certain importance, and you just add these conditions to your rule. And you're just setting up what items the rule should respond to. And then you click Next. In the next screen, you decide what action the rule should take when it receives an item that matches the criteria you set. So they could move it, assign it to a category. How about notify me? Here I'd need to click the A Specific Message hyperlink to fill that in. and then click OK to specify the message. You can also check several of them. Sometimes you could forward it to people, forward it as an attachment, or redirect it. So it's not like it has to do just one thing. And then click Next. You can also add any exceptions here. So accept if sent only to you, for instance, or accept if it contains specific words. 
and then click Next after filling in any exceptions for the rule. Then you, in the last screen you have to give a name for this rule. Should it run the rule now on a message you've already received, or turn the rule on, check the checkboxes as needed, and just click Finish. Now it should apply in the Rules Wizard, that particular rule. And notice the rules, if you have mo more than one, appear in a certain order. The one at the top is always done first, followed by the ones later on in the rule. So if I would prefer to filter out, say, adult content and junk email, I could do that first, and then take the action notification and just click Move Down. Also, you can delete rules by just clicking on them and hitting Delete to the right. Or you can just simply turn them off by deselecting them from the checkbox. And when you need to turn them back on, go back to Tools and Rules Wizard for the selected folder and just check the box to turn them back on. When you're done modifying your rules, click OK. And those rules will then be applied. So I can test it by sending a message to myself. So here we're setting it to read, which was the flag that we had. And we're going to set it to high priority as well. and then we're going to send it out. So here's the rule. And you can click on it and just click open. So now I've read it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.